All right, welcome into this episode of Guy vs. Girl. As it is the last episode of the quarter, we're sending you off into your summer of fun. We wanted to make sure, Kat and I, that you guys really had one last debate that was summer themed. So Kat and I were talking about it. What could it be? Sprinklers or pool, lakes or beaches. And all of a sudden, Kat and I kind of came on a very big disagreement on something that, that is so fundamental to summer. And I just, I don't know how Kat feels this way. And of course, we are talking about hot dogs or burgers. What is the quintessential, most important part of your summer meal? Naturally, me doing the right thing. I said burgers. You got to get a lot to eat. Cat, however, again, wrong decision every time. Don't know how that happens. She ends up going out and saying that hot dogs are the best. Cat, as I am, you know, I'm a nice guy. I want to make sure that you get your chance first ladies first as they always say so i'm gonna let you defend yourself here and tell everybody the wrong opinion but one that you believe in all right so the hot dog there's so many ways you can have a hot dog you can just do like the standard mustard and ketchup you can do the seattle dog with the cream cheese and onions yeah, and yeah. you can like have a corn dog so many ways to eat a no hot dog. You, you don't what? get that corn, what? corn dogs its own thing corn dogs its own thing Corn dogs and hot dogs are no, not. No, it's no. a dog wrapped in bread. No, different thing. It, it's called a corn dog, not a hot dog on corn. Different well, thing. You, you don't get home, a phone that one. All of you at, <laughs> at home can decide if a corn dog and a hot dog are similar. I think they are, but they, it's it's the same meat. Well, uh, is it meat? We don't know. It's probably like I that mean, old McDonald's pink goo. Right, probably, but they're good <laughs> and they're they're classic. You can barbecue them. You can microwave them. You can boil them. They're so, oh, and they go so good in mac and cheese. Throw back to our last episode. Throw back, yeah, as long as you eat them with a spoon, you know. <laughs> no, of course, because you can't eat hot dogs with a spoon. Yes, you can. Watch me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, those, those are uh, my leading arguments. Well, and I, I just want to debate you here, right? You know, that is the object of the show. But when I look at a hot dog, there's, you say there's so many different things I can do with it. Not really, right? Because when I come into my, my own, like when I go to make a hot dog, I have a set way I like my hot dog. I like my hot dog with a bun and then with ketchup. And that's it. That's the only way I'll eat it. So there's not a whole lot of different variations that you can have with it. Whereas with my burger, I can have whatever I want on it. I can have lettuce, ketchup, mustard. I can have two patties. I can have one. Let's be real. Sometimes I have three. Big guys got to eat. Sometimes I, if I really want to, I can add bacon to it. I can add an egg to it. I can add all kinds of things. Some people add mayo. They're gross, but you could do that. You could add pickles to it. Love that. Love cheese on it. There's all kinds of different variations that you can have with the burger. And let's not forget, when you go out and like you have a burger, it, it's more filling than a hot dog. Like if you're going to go have a hot dog, like you'll have a hot dog and then like Two hours later, you're like, man, I'm still hungry, but you know, I'm intermittent fasting now, so I'm outside of my window. I can't eat. All of a sudden, you're starving in the middle of your window. You got to eat. It breaks your intermittent fasting. But when you're like me, you eat the hot, you eat the burger, excuse me, you can intermittent fast all you want. You don't have to come back. You're perfectly fine. It doesn't ruin anything for you. Also, I'll tell you what, if you haven't had a chance to, have a burger without the bun where you just like put lettuce on it. That's how like old wrestlers used to do it so they could make weight. Shout out Jeff McMillan for telling me that. Um, so there's so many different ways you can eat a burger. And let's think about it this way. When your dad's out on the grill and he's grilling, what does he say he's grilling? Burgers and dogs. Burgers come first. Ergo, burgers are better. You know, when I ask my dad what he's grilling, he just goes, meat. <laughs> but that's, that's my fair. dad in a nutshell so uh total i see your points uh but one thing if you're normal and you don't intermittent fast uh whoa you know you can have multiple hot dogs and also you can not necessarily want a giant burger that's going to be heavy and weigh you down for the rest of the day a hot dog's just like a nice good meal otherwise you're just like Blech, I want to take a nap and I'm in a food coma. There's nothing wrong with the good food nap. It's literally a national holiday. 
You just sometimes you don't have the time to take a food nap, especially during the summer when you want to go boating, enjoy the sun. Oh, come on. You can enjoy the sun. Get the lawn chair out, have a nice burger, go into that food coma. You're starting to go to sleep. What do you do? Put a little suntan lotion on. All of a sudden, you're tanning. Unless you, you have get a nice sunburn. Coat. Isn't that all tanning is? Mm, no. You burn and then you tan? Well, then I tan wrong. <laughs> Whatever. I'm Irish. We're fair skinned. It happens. Again, yeah, all, I'm, all I'm saying, I'm just saying, like, if I want to go out and I want to have a food, think about this too. If a burger is too much, you can cut it in half. You can't really cut a dog in half. That like what are you gonna do? Slice it down the middle? That yeah, totally. Good. Chop it into what? You You're gonna eat a half a dog? Have you half have you dog? ever have you ever been to Costco like with your parents and you just chop it in half because those things are like they're like foot long status. <laughs> the foot long dog? Uh, no, I I actually haven't. We're we can't afford Costco. Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> No, if I'm going to Costco, I'm getting an ice cream. I'm not getting a dog. Well, ice cream's I'm good. Getting... I do like their pizza, too. That's what I'm saying. I'm just, when I look at it, I think the superior meal is a burger. When yeah. I go to a cookout, I make sure I have burgers and buns. I don't necessarily make sure that I have hot dogs and buns because hot dogs, to me, seem kind of like the complement to it. Like, it's complimentary. Mostly, like, if you're going to go, think about this. If you're going to go to a restaurant, what are you going to order a hot dog or a burger you're going to order a burger i don't think hot restaurants like sell hot dogs serve hot you know dogs. why because burgers are on top no because, they're the premier choice no because hot dogs are like i don't know how to explain this but they're like a family cookout situation yeah but like look i think that look would you admit that chefs are experts in their field yeah. 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 And so when you go to an expert's place of work, do you tell them how to do their job? No, I do not. No, of but course I, not. That's oh, right. Because you're hey, a good person. You. No, 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 no. <laughs> let me finish my point here. Because all I'm saying is that when you go to the expert's place of work, what are they making? They're making you a burger because a burger is A1 steak sauce. I do love A1 steak sauce. I'm a fan. Um, but do you when you go to a restaurant you do tell the chef what you want yeah and you know what they never put on the menu a dog unless you're going to a wiener schnitzel and there's That's a reason true. those things are going out of business we they haven't had a burgers all the pretzel places have the little wraps the pigs in a blanket same thing that's one of the most ultimate super it's bowl a different, snack. It's a pigs different in a blanket thing. It's no, a it's a different dog. thing. It's it's little. It's little hot dogs. Little <laughs> it's literally the same. It's not. It's not the same. No, it's not the same. A hot dog is a hot dog. You know what? You know it when you see it. A hot dog is a hot dog. And a pigs in a blanket is a pigs in a blanket. Yeah. See, two different things. It's like corn dogs. Right. Corn dogs also great. Still made out of the same meat. But they're not. It's not. It's not a hot dog. Look. Can we just? You know what, cat. We haven't done this yet, and I'd like us finally to meet somewhere in the middle. Can we meet somewhere in the middle in this? Yeah, I think so. I don't even know what you call this. A debate. media thing? Boy versus problem. In the middle? Can, we, can we meet somewhere in the middle in that both hot dogs and burgers alone, they're pretty good. Like, I'd say a burger's better than a dog because I'm, you know, right. Um, but if you combine them together, that's the ultimate meeting. Yeah. I would agree with that. You go to a cookout, get some beans, get a hot dog, get some burgers, maybe a couple chips, some watermelon. Perfect. Nice cold water or other soda beverage, whatever you choose. That is the perfect cookout meal. So I want to make sure that everyone, if you get a chance to, hopefully we get some time where it's safe. We can go outside, have some more cookouts. Then, you know, we'll have our family around, but hopefully we can get some more people. So if you get the chance, make sure to have a compromise just like Kat and I did. Go eat the burger. Go eat the hot dog. Have a good time. Have fun this summer. Kat and I hopefully will be back next year. We're not entirely sure yet. Kat, I want to thank you so much for being on this uh, little social media thing that we're doing. I want to thank everyone for listening. And remember, this has been Boy vs. Girl on 88 One The Burger, your music central.